So I'm putting together my own pressure washer. Rather than buying one, I can piece one together with top of the line parts for cheaper than I can buy one. So thought I'd bring you guys along, show you what I'm doing. So there's not that much to a pressure washer. There's pretty much two basic parts and that's an, an engine and a pump. And everybody knows what the Honda engine is. Um, that's one of the top of the line engines out there. But the pumps are always a second thought. So people always end up buying a pressure washer and just putting on, and they always just give you whatever piece of junk pump they have laying around and they just tell you it's a million PSI and you don't even look how many gallons per minute or anything else, but it has a Honda engine, so it has to be great. Well, I'll tell you this right now, unless it has a cat pump, it's a piece of junk. It really, really is. I've There's a couple other top name brands, um, but they're even more expensive or right about the exact same price as a cat. But pretty much anything except for a cat pump is a piece of junk. I've had so many in my shop. I've repaired so many pressure washers. I have stolen so many engines off of blown up pressure washer pumps and used the engines for tillers and everything else that I just don't trust anything else. So I'm in the market for a new high-end pressure washer and I wanted a cat pump. I wanted a high-end cat pump that would do everything I wanted. This is a uh, 4,000 PSI, but more importantly, it's four gallons per minute. And to pump that, I need at least about a 13 horsepower engine. So I have an engine here that I've got off Craigslist for cheap. I actually have a pressure washer frame. If I didn't have this, I mean, I could build this effortlessly, but I got this for free with an engine that I bought, used for another project. So this has just been kind of sitting around because there's, there's wheels on it. But I did have to buy the pump. The pump sent me back almost 600 bucks. Um, yeah, 600 bucks just for the pump. This engine right here, this 13 horsepower engine, I nabbed this a couple years ago. I think I paid 50 bucks for it. Um, so pretty simple. All I gotta do is throw this engine on. Um, the thing is, is these engines, oh my God. If you get a pressure washer, the engines were always Oh, it's outlast the pump. I have never seen a blown up engine on a pressure washer. I've always seen blown up pumps, but personally, I've never seen anybody ever even come close to exhausting the life of one of these. So I got it all bolted down, got a big old hole to drain the oil, which is nice. And now it's just time to put the pump on. And so if you've never actually changed out a pump, this kind of shows you how they how easy they are to change. Most just slide right on and there's four bolts that's it this some have a set screw and you see a little teeny hole right here so if you see a hole generally on one of your sides it won't be i've never seen them on the bottom because you can't really access that but it'll be on one of your sides um, look in there rotate it around and here's a little set screw that actually pinches down on this little key just to keep it in there. So I put anti-seize all over the engine PTO shaft. I've got anti-seize all over it. Put some medium Loctite on my little set screw. I've got this all lined up because I'm gonna slide this on. I should just slide on relatively easily. And I don't wanna tighten it down yet because I actually wanna get my bolts started up in their holes. So we'll get all these bolts in there and that's pretty much all there is to actually installing and to uninstall you just do the opposite some like a lot of small engines do not have that set screw they just you just undo the four bolts and it slides right off and you just throw a new pump on so i'll bolt it up i got some brand new hose hooked to it some nice 50 feet of usa made hose nice uh, lance and spray tips and everything else all brand new all together this would cost me with the specs that I have here, about $1,600 or more. The base would probably be right around $1,600. All together, with uh, having to buy a brand new hose, I bought hose and landscape for about $100. I bought this, this was about $580, something like that. So let's just say six, seven hundred. I paid about 50 bucks for the engine, so that's about $750, and I got the frame for free, so. For less than half the price, I essentially get 
a $1,600 pressure washer. So nothing really left to do, but just to fire it up and see what happens. I did have to make this upper handle. I didn't grab it, you know, five, six years ago when I grabbed the frame with the engine, you know, just for the engine. I didn't actually grab this part. Wasn't even thinking about it then. Didn't think I'd ever use this frame besides the wheels for anything. But now it's actually a completely assembled, functioning, working, looks like a professionally made pressure washer. So let's fire it up, get it going. But I do have some uh, tips for you guys to keep these pressure washers going for a lot longer than they normally live for. One of the biggest tips I can give you with a pressure washer is not to let it run while you're not pulling the trigger. So if you're letting this run and you need to stop and pick up something, don't let this run for more than 30 seconds or so, especially cheap ones, because they will overheat and they melt everything inside and burn themselves out. Serious, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, they will burn themselves up. It needs the water to keep continually going through to actually be able to cool it. That's its coolant, it's like running an engine without coolant. You know, it just has a very small reservoir. If you want it to last, don't just sit there because I see people all the time. You'll drive by in the neighborhood, you see the pressure washing, and the pressure washer just sitting there running, and the hose is on the ground, and they're washing their car while this is just running. These will burn up. Um, the second thing is never, ever, ever buy a used pressure washer. Don't want it. You just don't buy a used pressure washer without testing it or if it's extremely, extremely cheap. If you do not test it, if you cannot test it, the pump is bad. The pump is always bad. These pumps, the cheap pumps on the three, four, five hundred dollar pressure washers go about 25, maybe 50 hours of life and they're garbage. So if you want to buy a used one, you can buy a used one with a good, you know, Cat's a good brand. There's a, I'm going to mispronounce this, like a Novi Reverbi. Um, General Pump, I believe, makes a decent pump. But generally that's on more kind of commercial stuff and you'll find it and it'll be used to death. So it's kind of worrisome there. But let's fire this up and get it spray with it. Works amazing. I'm actually super excited because for a year or two I owned a huge, it was roughly this big, about this tall, had a 20 some odd horsepower Honda engine. Um, I think it was 6,000, 6,000 PSI, four or five gallons per minute and that thing, was, that thing was just powerful as powerful. But I ended up just fixing it and kind of sending it down the road. It was worth so much. So I've been excited to, I've been wishing I had a huge, a powerful, powerful pressure washer since. I have a smaller gas one, but just always leaves you wanting. Um, it's fun. It is a workout because you get this, this much, uh, this many gallon per minute coming out of there. You know, there's a good 40 pounds. Just you're constantly pushing 40 pounds and the gun's pushing back on you. So you'll end up with forearms like a sailor. Um, another thing I didn't touch on is don't forget to winterize your pump. Put some, um, even just RV antifreeze, kind of run that through. They sell little like, um, little bottle things kind of put on there and pressurize it. I'll put a link to show you what they are in the video description. But you kind of put it on there, screw it on there, and just pressurizes and just kind of flows there through there for you and saves your pump from dying. Thanks for watching guys. This is just me kind of tinkering in the garage. Random weekend. If you like this sort of thing, thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Thanks guys. See you soon. Bye.